Nice. Bubble blower, the bubble blowing babies of the Splatoon 2 special weapons. Say it with me, folks. All bubble blowing babies will be beaten since. Oh. Okay. By the way, don't look at me at the blah blah. We're talking about Bubble Lore today. Bubble Lore was the first Poshlon special to be launched in Splatoon 2. In the trailer, you could throw up to three bubbles of varying size, depending on your gear. Of all specials, Bubble Blower makes the best use out of special power up. You have things like Ballers, which have increased explosive power, and then you have three bubbles that are freaking bigger than Russia. Look at these bad boys, freaking three nuclear bombs ready to go off. Along with special power up, Object Shredder is very important when trying to pop the bubbles. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's had a fight with someone on the other team trying to pop a bubble. Let's see how this sniper deals with these three big bubbles right here. Aw, look at you trying to use your special, that does nothing. You may be half love, but you're full dead. Let me send some bubbles out to mid, and what are you doing to my bubbles? My babies, no! Bubble Blower can serve as a liquid mobile wall in OA2. It's easier for you to pop the bubbles than for an opponent to pop them. If you want to make a push with your team, throwing Bubble Blower out first and then trying to hide behind the protection of bubbles, especially the Costco sized ones that the special power up enthusiasts are blessed with, can really help with a defensive offensive approach. You can also use them to block an enemy's route as it's not only a challenge to get through them, but there's also the threat of them popping and popping you right with them. Or you can do the classic, I don't know how to use my main weapon so I'm just gonna abuse the special that comes with its spiel. There are 12 weapons in Splatoon 2 that have the bubble lore, another mixture of long range and short range weapons. Some of these weapons pop the bubbles in one or two hits and charge up slower while others have to hit the thing freaking 37 times, but shoot much faster. I can already tell how long range weapons use this special. Don't worry Calvin, I got your back boy, don't don't worry, these three will protect you. Try slot, you really like things in three, huh? How about three bubbles bursting? Impenetrable bubble wall, go! Nothing's getting through here! <laughs> now the short range weapons charge head first with their bubbles. The roller can pop them somewhat quickly given the up close damage of the roller. The tenebral is also a one hit on enemies, so if you're close enough, you can pop the bubbles very easily as well. Also, there's a little cheat that you can do when letting the umbrella go as it'll still hit the bubble blower and pop them in some crazy ways. Salutations, fellow Splatoon 2 for the Nintendo Switch players. Today I'm here to share with you my new findings on some new tech I found with the Tenebrella. And my new tech, I mean something I saw in a Watson video that was made a year ago. He made it look easy, so surely it happens 100% of the time. Witness absolute magic, you guys. Watch. <gasps> Okay, that would have been a lot cooler if it killed someone, but you gotta admit the explosion was beautiful. Okay, take two. Now experience something beautiful. Look at this. And it still didn't kill anyone. Oh, now you come out. No, 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 no. Now with the Kenza Spire shot, y'all do some voodoo with how you guys pop the bubble blower so quickly. I literally fought Kenza Spire shot Jr. who was using bubble blower, and the sucker popped that thing in two hits with the torpedo. I know you guys like your sub and special power up, but dang. Hey guys, wanna see a magic trick? Not only can I hit three bubbles with a piece of heat seeking plastic, but I can make them disappear along with the guy that I was fighting. Rounding out the weapons that use Bubble Blower, there are two semi-automatics that use it. The Cherry H3 Nozzle Nose and... No. I'm not going back. No. No. No, I say! Burn the champagne bottle! Burn it! Bubble Blower is great at giving the Rainmaker a form of cover. It can also be good at guarding someone with the Power Clam and Clam Blitz or someone on the tower and tower control. In Splat Zones, and one these bad boys burst, then the zone is back under your control. Whenever these things are blown, people are like, I don't like where this is going. The Explosher is also very good on Splat Zones in particular because in addition to its truck sized ink flops, it also has the Bubble Lore which can completely overtake a zone. They can entirely blockade certain lanes on poor Macro and their Blast Rays covers a lot of different maps. Just don't toss one off the map please. Haha <laughs> Roller, you may not be intimidated by my pro but are you intimidated by my pro bubbles? Look at these three big beauties right here. Wait, where is that thing going? No, you have a life to live! In inclusion, the Bubble Blower is for Bubble Blowing Baby, I mean Bubble Blowing Bosses, who beat anyone who thinks their bubbles are something they can just walk by. They're a great mobile wall which works the best out of all specials with Special Saber and Object Shredder. What special do you want me to do next? Let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe- Wait, what's happening to me? A great power level is a pro-